eight degrees, boys, and it's the middle of the day. I'll tell you, I miss Texas in times like this. Let's take a look at this gladiator up here. I pass this guy all the time. Look at that cool little build. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're all having a great and amazing day. Today, I wanted to make a video about how much money I make as a small car YouTuber. I was actually planning on filming this video here at this park. This is like a uh, airport viewing park. I thought it would be cool to, you know, film a video and have airplanes taken off in the background and stuff. But it is so windy here. All you guys would be hearing was from my microphone. So uh, change of plans for the video. There are kind of two main reasons why I wanted to make this video. One, because it really would have helped me before I started out when I was looking around. You know, a lot of big YouTubers make videos like, oh, this is how much money I make with 3 million subscribers or 5 million subs or maybe a million subscribers. And like that didn't really help me out a whole lot because I was like, you know, what about me? What about the little guy? Like, what is the person with a thousand subscribers make? And I didn't really know, so I wanted to make that video now that I have 1,000 subscribers. The second reason why I kind of wanted to make this is because this is literally like the number one question I get about, like my friends and family ask or whoever asks about the YouTube channel, how much money it makes. So we're going to talk about it today. Now, a lot of people are kind of taboo about money. They don't like to talk about money or how much they make or whatever. I personally don't care at all. I like to be open about this stuff. I think that it can help educate and help everybody else learn. So to start off, I want to go over what it actually takes to get monetized on YouTube. You can't just create a YouTube channel and post one video and start making money. What you need to do is you need to hit two metrics. One, you need to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty self-explanatory. And the next is you need to have 4,000 watch hours. Now what that means is that people have watched your content 4,000 hours. For me personally, getting the watch hours was pretty easy, but the subscribers was very challenging. Once you hit those two metrics, I believe that those are the first two big major milestones of any YouTuber. After that, I do personally believe it gets a little easier. So after that happens, you apply to get monetized and then you get monetized. And then YouTube pays you off of this thing called the RPM, revenue per milli. Basically what that means is that that is the amount of money that you get your revenue for every 1000 views. That varies based on the topic. Cars is a little higher than some other categories. So if you're starting a car YouTube channel, you know, props to you there. My videos make anywhere from $2 to four and a half dollars per thousand. I really haven't been monetized for that long. So that's just kind of what I've noticed so far. And it changes depending on the video. Maybe a certain video has a slightly different topic that pays more for whatever reason. But just to let you know that number varies all the time and a lot. So because how much you get paid is based off of your views, I wanted to touch on how many views I usually get before I go into how much money I make off of those. Today is March 31st. So these numbers are gonna be all for the entire month of March. Over the past month, I got about 24,000 views, and those views came anywhere from about 600 to 1,000 views a day. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but that all really depends on how you post, if you if a video does good, how many times you post, and uh, the quality of the videos. Overall, for the month of March, I made about $110, and that is broken down into anywhere between $2.5 a day to sometimes as much as $12 a day, really depending on how good videos do. I got monetized just a couple days into the year 2021, so I've been monetized for about three months now, and overall, I've made about $250 from my entire YouTube career. So that brings up the question question is it worth it now if you were to look at this from an on paper standpoint like on paper I put in this many hours into my YouTube channel and I got two hundred and fifty dollars back I put in thousands of hours to this channel I put in a lot of work at this point in time I've got about hundred and seventy videos so if you break that down that's just a little over a dollar a video and it takes me hours to make a video so technically from a on paper standpoint, it doesn't really make financial sense at this point in time. However, I really don't believe it's fair to just look at starting a YouTube channel from an on paper standpoint, and I'll give you a few reasons why I personally believe it is worth it and why I chose to do this. Starting off, first reason, number one reason, the reason why you should do literally anything you ever do is the, just the fact that I enjoy it. I really like making videos. I really like going to car shows, driving cars, doing all these car things, and like I really enjoy doing something. Just the fact that I get paid to do this is icing on the cake for me. 
Yes, obviously I wanna make more money. Who doesn't wanna make more money? But that's not really the point. I started this channel so I could grow this channel and have this channel with a passion that I enjoy. You know, I enjoy making these videos. I love cars. I've been doing this stuff for a long time and I only recently have just been filming it. And that's kind of another reason why it's worth it to me is just the fact that I have been doing these things for a while. It was sort of a way for me to combine making a little bit of side income with my passion of cars and I really enjoy that. Just the fact that I can drive my car, film some videos, and you know, just film me having a fun time and get paid for it is like crazy to me, and I really enjoy that. Now, the third reason why I believe it's worth it, even though you don't make a lot of money at first, is because you have to look at this as a business. You have to look at this as you're investing into something. Every single business, you need to invest time usually money, a lot of effort before you actually see a good result. That's really how business works and you really need to look at it like that. You're investing into something and you believe that it will pay off a lot in the future and you understand that all this work you're putting in on the ground is gonna be worth it later. If you wanna start a pizza shop, you have to buy an oven, you have to rent a place, hire employees, buy ingredients. You're not gonna make all your money back on the first day and it's not gonna be worth it financially on the first day, but that's not the point. You want to build something and grow something, doing something you enjoy, and that's the real reason why you should be doing something. I hope this video helps you guys out a little bit. It really would have helped me when I was just thinking about starting one out. So let me know down below if it helped you guys out. If you guys want to see kind of stuff like this, more kind of this st style of videos, let me know down below. I will film some more like this for you guys. I hope you all learned something about starting a car YouTube channel today. Hit like if you liked this video. Make sure to smash subscribe if you want to stick around and see more stuff like this. I hope all of you are having a great and amazing day. My name is Caleb, and I'll see you in the next one.